So proteins and nucleic acids uh, can be imported into Avogadro. Unfortunately, there's not that much you can do with them when you've got them. Uh, this is one that I worked with uh, a while ago, beta myoglobin. It's not a particularly big protein. Um, going to display settings. Uh, it's showing up as ball and stick already. So let's try and find ribbon, select ribbon. And remove ball and stick. We can rotate it a little bit. But there's not much else you can do with that in that um, format. I'm going to go back to ball and stick. You can find some residues. Remove ribbon. Um, if we go to select, oh, hide display. Um, it's looking for residue. Clicking on, that looks like a tyrosine there. Clicking on any atom will select the entire residue. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell you what it is. So, we can actually identify them a bit better with uh, select by residue. This is case sensitive, it has to be uppercase. Um, let's look for alanine. And there's two, one there and one there. But again, you can't do much more with it. That's, that's as far as we can go with it. Um, slightly better results if you build your own polypeptide. I'm going to close that down. And go to build. There's DNA, of course. Build a peptide. Um, let's just have the first eight amino acids. Um, I assume there's a he alpha helix structure there. There might not be. There might be. There might not be. And just see what happens. Okay. Just lose those highlights. I'm going to lose the hydrogens as well. So it's a fairly complicated structure. It doesn't it might be starting an alpha helix? We don't know. Uh, again, trying to identify something can be fairly difficult. Um, Going for residue. Um, I don't know what that is, unfortunately. Presumably that's that was a cysteine. But there's no other information that I'm aware of. So trying to identify by its residue name. Um, go for alanine again. There it is. Try another one. Oh, wrong one. Confirm that cysteine over there. Yep, there it is. Um, unfortunately, that's about as far as you can get with this. Also, I have noticed that with larger, larger molecules, um, it does tend to stall quite a lot. Um, larger large molecules it doesn't like very much. It actually it actually closed down on me once. Okay, good luck.